Hey, what is up everybody? It's Demo here. Before the video starts, I want to remind you only 5% has subscribed, the rest didn't. But anyway, let's go back in today's video. So there is one thing that just happened and that Iron Mace made an attempt to uh, patch the Warlock out. And basically they put all their best effort to nerf this class, but they ended up messing up again. But um, there is one thing that I want to say before we got into the whole patch note is big congratulations to each and every fighter out there because currently, currently the fighter sprint is back. Now it's not going to be as um, oppressive as it was before which would grant 50% move speed for 8 seconds. Now it's just going to give you a slightly less move speed but first you're going to start with 45 then it's going to drop to 30 and then you're going to be at 15 move speed which is a way better version than the current uh, fighter sprint is but before we get to everything there is also one little thing that i want to mention which barbarian slightly got back does this change anything in particular no but at least at least we got a remote little you know penalty reduced like from 20 to 15 is it gonna make bar better no it's not really gonna make much but at least at least the iron mace is looking in the right direction and um, as for the rest i'm gonna read everything you know a little later down the line because first thing first we gotta read something that is a lot less important i'm gonna leave stamps down if you wanna skip all this fixed bullshit and pray too much we're gonna move on to that point um well you can move on to that point right now at any time just by clicking on the timestamp all right here we go the fix several issues that cause server crashes my server crashes quite often i have a really shitty internet connection and i really hope that i get to play the game normally fix an issue where the stats of equipment that became unrestricted by certain perks were not applied properly all right so well i mean this is just a casual uh little issue that really isn't that big of a deal but it is what it is and this is what we have to deal with but uh, it's not that deep it's not that big of a deal fix an issue of not being able to jump when casting shapeshift i honestly thought that this was intentional little fix little shadow nerf to the druid because of the ability to you know travel through entire map by casting a cat into a dash into a chicken with a double jump into a fucking falling bear on your head was a little broken but apparently it's not and there was just an intentional mistake that they implemented with previous patch it is what it is the mistakes happens and you know i love this game and i'm gonna let it slide <laughs> and uh, pretty much as um 717 people gonna let it slide as well fix an issue of where the remaining time was not displayed properly on the ui icon when a buff debuff stack was deducted ah, who gives a shit fix an issue where the primary attributes of several druid items were set incorrectly oh my god bro poor druids like holy cow recently a new class has come out and the new class kind of got got it out within first couple of days which i think is completely unreasonable well the warlock stayed invincible for one year straight the poor druid got got it out faster than you know i can got out the chicken for my dinner holy cow anyway uh, fix an issue where the primary attributes of several druid items were set incorrectly whatever fix an issue where druid could not equip the cyclo vision troll bane and serial crafted flange maze weapons i honestly never thought that these weapons are meant for druid to use and um, basically well apparently that was just another issue that they didn't thought of fix an issue where the silver crafted daggers would not give the proper armor penetration attributes okay wow so the white items that only looks good on papers that doesn't give you anything also didn't have the armor pen attributes like who cares man there is better bigger picture out there nobody gives a shit about silver crafted items that just of a white quality that doesn't do shit wait no my bad my bad silver crafted i believe is a blue items that are still as bad but looks really good like yeah i mean they like the sole reason why would you ever want to craft silver weapon is because it looks really nice and fancy but other than that any purple item on the market is just going to be more valuable piece all right well fix an issue where the frost wyvern could accidentally drop artifacts that should only be available from other bosses bro okay not only does this boss have rng attacks and patterns which just slaps you around like you get close you get slapped by the wyvern's 
dick if you get far you're gonna get spit on that's the frost wyvern that's the boss that um you know it's not the easiest boss out there not only that but each and every time you got hit you're gonna be slowed down by a lot so pretty much the spitting process afterwards is gonna make you not just wet but also frozen in place and probably dead but um yeah well anyway the frost wyvern was i do believe it's a strong boss fucking just let everyone cheese it who can you know and let them get whatever they can like i don't think this is a drastic change or a drastic thing or an issue at all because the amount of people that are actually trying to kill the frost wyvern is minimal like the boss is an annoying lame piece of flying shit that is actually quite not easy to deal with but um and not only that, the biggest problem, the biggest issue with the Frost Wyvern is you need to team up with the random team in order to get the boss down. If you want to do it solo, well, that's an issue right there, brother. That's just not going to happen. Or as a solo team with the three people. All right, so here we go. The fighter sprint skill, the icing of the cake, the top of the mountain. Finally, finally we get to something meaningful and this is very freaking meaningful. Congratulations to each and every fighter out there, you guys are so back. And the build which is A plus tier, which was the buckler, rondel and survival bow is gonna be an S tier. S tier which will melt down each and every physical damage user other than withers and the warlocks of course. But I'm not sure how much Warlocks got cut it out. With that, we're gonna move on in a second. As for the barb, boys, congrats. We got a little buff, and this is the right step in the right direction. Big W, Iron Mace, and basically, I'm really glad that our weak Barbarian slightly got buffed. The Barbarian Rage Physical Damage Reduction Penalty reduced from 20 to 15 we got a drastic buff boys five percent five percent is pretty good it's actually pretty good it's actually quite decent but it's not gonna save you from anything that uh currently uh, you know barbarian has to experience it's not gonna save you from any of that like you know you're still gonna get shit on by range and cutting meta but yeah it's fine Listen, overall, every time Barbarian gets buffed, it just makes me a little bit happier, because Barbarian, I ain't feeling it, Barbarian currently suck dick, and Barbarian do needs a little bit of love, and I'm really glad that even though this change barely does anything in particular, it's not gonna save you from magic, but maybe it does, because I haven't really got too much into Withers and the Warlock, because, um, you know, the range still on top of the gameplay, and the range still controls the gameplay, the kiting meta, which been out for half a year, Year is still there and some stuff just hasn't really changed much all right well congratulations brother barbs you know we're doing it not only brother fighters got buffed also brother barbarians got you know slightly slightly adjusted at least at least to the point where i see this build with the rage could be quite usable it's just the only thing is the savage roar probably still isn't and we're gonna talk about that build in my next video which i'm gonna make right after these um hot tweaks anyway let's move on to the wizard the amount of times i was told and i was asked to play in a wizard was freaking insane thanks to one guy who left probably 40 messages and um probably 40 messages and probably another uh, like five people who asked me to play with it holy cow guys you, congratulations to you all withered stuff mastery magic weapon damage got improved from one to two which is pretty good the withered magic missiles damage projectiles improved from nine to ten as well so pretty much the staff mastery build is going to get slightly stronger which is not going to be a drastic change but it's uh, definitely going to be visible from one to two it's actually the right step but the one to two is going to be a lot bigger if you land the headshots the number one will turn into three the number two will turn into eight and uh, if my math is correct let me know if it is in the comment section the wizard magic missiles for projectile improved from nine to ten not sure if it was needed but if it was well it, it is what it is currently the wizard still controls well i mean the problem with the wizard is right now there is a druid with the panther and there is a rogue with the cutthroat 
So there wasn't just one class that could actually do something about this class, but there is two already. And pretty much this is already counters withered um, hard enough. But still, the withered is a very strong class. It deals with every physical user out there. It's uh, one of the best classes and even tight corridors not going to save you too much against experienced withered player. So this change maybe it's decent maybe it's not i don't know i don't care i fucking hate withers and everything that comes to magic and i'm not gonna play with it anytime soon unless unless something changed my mind and i actually give it a shot but um i'm a barbarian guy who likes to play barbarian and who likes to exploit the depth of um barbarian as much as it physically could i like to um you know learn stuff um as a barbarian that um would require a decent amount of skill expression and currently i'm working on a barbarian build that will actually you know takes a lot of skill to play with but anyway we're gonna get to that later to in my next video but in today's video we still got a warlock to talk about warlock dark reflection attribute bonus ratio change from 50 to 75 sure good buff by the way good buff very beautiful the boc is getting back on track the attribution rate of dark reflection got buffed let's stockpile boy some additional magical damage all right so i thought that the warlock got got it out but this is just the return of the cactus build congratulations my magic staff users you guys got a little bit of cheese and pretty much yeah well we, let's move on from there warlock soul souls collector can only collect a maximum of 10 to 5 darkness shards so pretty big change by the way pretty big change each and every shard would increase your magical damage by a certain amount so i'll resume even though we got the difference in five this the dark reflection covers up for it so if you're planning to play with dark reflection with the soul collector well it's still gonna be more or less viable i do believe the dark reflection still will be able to hit for close to 50 damage on impact especially if you stockpile will and additional magical damage but in you know in order to figure that out we'd have to play the warlock which i'm not gonna planning to play anytime soon but there is a lot of content creators who make a warlock content which i will check up on on to see what they're up to i do believe the cactus warlock is going to be back just with this change alone but we're gonna see that in action quite soon the warlock soul collector can no longer obtain dark shards from targets that does not give experience so you're saying the soul collector not gonna give you cheese uh from spiders from your hydra okay sure the warlock darkness shard dark magical bonus change from 10 to 20 percent are you fucking kidding me man so you're saying you decided to buff a warlock so okay listen here this is a buff so basically you don't need to stock 10 of these you can stock five of these in order to get the outcome of 10 of these so twice as little effort for twice as much outcome <sighs> holy fuck what is this dog shit bro why would you need to buff warlock this is like this right here is the dark reflection cactus warlock broken garbage build that's been in a game for at least four months that everybody hated because it could de deal with fighters could deal with bards it could deal with barbs if you're a physical damage user you would get dicked on and now we're back to this bro come on man what is this shit okay warlock soul collector can no longer obtain darkness shards from targets that does not give up experience whatever F warlock darkness shard sorry warlock dark darkness shard dark magic bonus change from 10 to 20 percent per stack yup i mean i already said that but it's fucking reality the warlock torture mastery spell cost multiplier change from two to three so this is how it works you don't need a torture mastery on a cactus build and they fucking physically buffed the cactus build so pretty much in the high roller this is what's gonna happen the high roller uh warlock is gonna stack pile they're gonna kill five mobs and they're gonna go to the nearest fighter barb and anything with the magic stuff they're gonna use the boc and they're gonna stack that magic stuff very deep down inside your asshole if you're a melee player like i've heard the phrase that the melee gameplay in the dark and dark is dying and that's because well of the range and kiting meta but now it's going to be dying because the 
they overtuned the Borlock Cactus build. Bro, why do we have to go back to this garbage? I don't understand, man. Like, why again? It was so broken before, and now you're making this shit again? Yo, you can't make this up. Like, for real, they decided to buff one of the cringiest, most broken, most unfair, most unfun builds to play against. Come on, dude. Like, what is this? Alright, Warlock Demon Form plus 5 weapon damage bonus has been removed. Oh. Well, I mean, now that there is a fucking cactus build, who gives a shit about demon form when cactus build is just a better option? In the high-end tier lobby, you will be able to stackpile, you know, you will be, will be able to get the BOC with the cactus build, kill 5 mobs, and become an absolute fucking menace. Because 100% magical damage bonus on return from 50 to 75 which just nearly doubles the impact of dark reflection wow bro you have to be fucking kidding me here with the mass each and every additional magical damage you're gonna stockpile gonna impact the dark reflection each and every soul you're gonna collect is gonna double the impact of dark reflection so pretty much we're gonna go from 75 to 150 percent magical damage bonus and we're gonna stockpile additional six additional magical damage which could go slightly more than six because of the um, cape that you will be able to get and after that after that don't forget the will attribute that's gonna multiply this number by whatever percentage you have as a will so pretty much you will be able to return a stupid amount of damage because the cactus warlock as is seems like it's absolutely freaking back but anyway anyway let's move on to another one the warlock demon form hell cost per second change from 1.5 to 3 which means one thing the um, they you just amplify the idea or like you incify the idea of a um, cactus warlock build to be more dominant than the demon form so you're switching this shit up from one build to another broken build like really okay like who wants to play the demon form when there is cactus build okay, all right who wants to play, like, who, who want to play with the demon form? Well, I do. And I play with it. And I made a widow out of this. I'm not touching that shit again because it was way too OP. But it doesn't change the fact that the cactus build that every single melee player hated. Because, listen, when you're playing as a ranged player, at least, at least you had to cast your shit, right? To be able to land. You, If you're ranger, you gotta shoot arrows. But, um, for example, if you are, like, some other bullshit, you gotta, like, uh, cast your spells and... Right now, right now, with this drastic, drastic change, you just need to hold W, use Phantomize, get close, and when you get close, you just gotta slap, because with Phantomize, you're gonna get be faster. So pretty much, the only counter to this build, as I see, is gonna be doors on the path, and if you mess it up, you die. But the thing is, the doors doesn't just save you, it also the resets the timers for you and for whoever you're fighting with which just give you just about enough time for that warlock to recover every single perk they have to fight you again once they got the cooldowns off all right the warlock rive drain attribution bow tracing change from 100 to 75 percent wow what a big fucking change uh unimaginable wow what a what a drastic warlock nerf holy cow guys wow all of this all of this so let's buff warlock fucking cactus build and let's uh you know nerf the demon forms that really nobody gives two fucks about Ha, sure, very nice, very nice. The gold of the treasure golden entry quest has been changed from interacting with golden door to collecting two golden keys handled. So this is a good change because this is the second, um, the, currently there is nine tasks for the treasure and this is the task number eight and pretty much um, it was quite annoying to deal with but now you can just simply buy the golden keys. And pretty much, if you just simply buy the golden keys, which doesn't cost that much in the market, I do believe they cost around 900 gold. The price might have dropped something, but with this change, the price will increase. And, um, you know, because people would be interested to get the task done. And basically, they will be able to actually get the task done without trying to find the fucking keys in raid. 
Treasure and equipment items gain awarded P points. We tested this out for a while, but realized that dealing with all the map monsters and clearing out chests was less fun than managing inventory resources, and decided to reward the older system. We'll work on, on an offering a more skill based leaderboard system in the future with the upcoming arena system. <laughs> okay, so basically, what they're saying here, guys, we are sorry we messed up again the um, AP upcoming leaderboard system that we worked on for so long when down the hill and we weren't able to figure out how to fix and make it more enjoyable without collecting a lot of treasures so unfortunately unfortunately farming mobs and farming treasure is going to be a uh, more both more enjoyable and interesting experience as a whole and pretty much we're just going to reward everything back because we don't know what to do with the current state of uh, leaderboard and we apologize we fucked up again but uh, listen listen uh we're gonna work on this in the future and just because we're gonna work on this in the future you know please let us slide again even though we messed up we mess up each and every single patch we make but listen i love iron mace it's okay like this is my favorite game and um you know it's fine it's fine the last thing i would give a fuck about is the ap but the last but the first thing that i will like the first thing that i'm gonna give a fuck about is the fucking cactus warlock build the god buff bro like seriously seriously man five percent of a barbarian rage which okay keep the fucking demon form left leave the fucking cactus build alone nobody wants to deal with this shit this is the worst and most broken build that was fucking abused by each and every streamer player whoever like if you don't know how to play the game make a cactus build how does it work stack fucking six additional magical damage hold double key walk up to a player hit him once with boc and the six additional magical damage gonna impact your stuff that's one it's gonna impact your boc that double buff and it's also gonna impact your dark reflection that's triple buff so let's say if you are i do believe you can like make seven or eight additional magical damage at the moment i could be wrong though six gonna be multiplied by the will and that number gonna grow up so at the end of the day, we are getting the triple outcome. 